Chap 2 1 in Adam's Car Tutorials Series, Adam's Car Overview, subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon for the latest update. What we gonna see here today? Brief history of Adam's Car. Its interface. Template builder option. Types of models. Types of simulation that we can perform. Post processing of results. Reading the existing template in Adams. History of MSC Adams Car. Adams stands for Automatic Dynamic Analysis of Mechanical System. The technology was implemented about 25 years ago. Mechanical Dynamics Incorporated formed by researchers who developed the base Adams code at the University of Michigan, Ann Arbor, Michigan, USA. This software is a system based analysis interface. The original product was Adams Solver, an application that solves nonlinear numerical equations. You build models in text format and then submit them to Adams Solver. In the early 90s, the Adams View was released, which allowed users to build, simulate, and examine results in a single environment. Today, MSC Software Corporation provides industry specific products like Adams Car, Adams Driveline, and others. To start Adam's car we will go to search bar and type Adam's car, open it. As soon as we open the Adam's car we see its interface, status bar, axis navigator, and menu bar. When you open Adam's car on the left hand corner you will see the file menu. As you click on it, then you will be able to see various options like New, Open, Manage, Save, Save As, Import, Export, and Select Directory. Inside the New option, you will see Subsystems, Suspension Assembly, Full Vehicle Assembly, and Generic Assembly. So these options have the different uses like Subsystems consist of Brakes, Steering, Control Arms, Tires, and others. And when it comes to suspension assembly it consists of front suspension, rear suspension assembly. And when we see full vehicle assembly it has full mini, Baja assembly, formula student assembly, sedan car, and other models. We are gonna see all of them in feature sessions but we will call out one suspension assembly of, Baja for this session. If we understood this software with a practical example it will be very helpful for us. So to open existing suspension assembly we will go to open then assembly and, then we will choose front, Baja suspension assembly as our first example for today. There is another option as well in the file menu bar like save, save as, close, import, export. So the main options are import and export options. Let's suppose you want to call an IGES, STEP, or SOLIDWORKS file we can use import option for that. And in the same way, if you want to export the existing model as per the requirement of the format we will use the export option. Inside the edit menu we have undo, redo options which are pretty basic options. We have other options as well, modify. Appearance, Comments, Select List, Deselect All. So the Modify and Appearance helps us to navigate the database to use the possible parts and test rigs are present for the assembly. Comments help us to know about the part name and info. Select and Deselect are the other general options. Besides Edit, we have a View option that consists of Assembly, Subsystem, Refresh, Toolbox and other as you can see. So we use assembly option if we want to switch between assemblies and other existing assembly like, from front suspension to rear suspension, and vice versa. In the same way, if you want to switch between the existing subsystem like if you want to control arm only instead of the entire assembly we will go with this option. A refresh is a general option used when the system is hang or you see a lag in software. Toolbox and toolbar options are used when you want to change the position of the toolbox from left to right and vice versa. And the command window and message window shows, 
what all steps you are taking. Preset is used to see the assembly from the front view, right view. The top view we can change it as per our requirement. Position orientation is used to zoom in and out, rotate, pan, fit to screen the assembly. Render option is used to render the assembly from wireframe to solid, etc. option are there. Adjust menu. Now when we click on the adjust menu we will see the main options here which we gonna use like hard points, adjustable force, gears, and sprung mass table. So in the hard points option, we have modify, table and info. Now if you want to change all the hard point you will go with the table option. If you want to adjust forces like camber, caster, the toe of individual tire you go with this option. And the other option that is gears, we used to choose the gearbox like, a differential gearbox or reduction gearbox as per our requirement. The sprung mass table is used to add mass to each component individually. Simulate menu, after this, we will see a very important menu bar that is simulate menu bar which consists of different types of analysis like suspension analysis, full vehicle analysis, component analysis. Now when we see suspension analysis there are several options which see one by one. Parallel wheel travel, when both wheels move together at once. Opposite wheel travel, when wheels move out of phase, one wheel up and the other down. Roll and vertical force comma when sweeps the roll angle while holding the total vertical force constant. Single wheel travel comma one wheel fixed, while other moves. Steering when motion applied to steering wheel or track. Static load comma the force or displacement applied at the same point of the tire with or without steering movement. Dynamic load comma a dynamic analysis is a combination of static analysis with the motion of the object. After suspension analysis, there is full vehicle analysis in which we can perform only one full vehicle only. Full vehicle analysis we see one by one in future session but for now, we will understand when to use which analysis. Open loop steering in this steering wheel input to your full vehicle is a function of time. Cornering event you use cornering analysis to evaluate your wheels handling and dynamic responses during various cornering type maneuvers. Straight line events, the analysis based on the driving machine focuses on the longitudinal dynamics of the vehicle course events, they are based on the driving machine and are of a course following types such as double lane change of vehicle. Roll stability events, Adam's car provides a range of events to analyze roll stability and simulate roll over use cases like tilting vehicles 45 degrees. We're gonna see all of this suspension and full vehicle analysis one by one in the future session so do subscribe us to stay updated. Review menu bar. We use a review menu bar for the post-processing window in which we animate simulation and generate desirable plots for our analysis. Setting menu comma now setting menu bar used to change lightings, change the background color, change units, change fonts. And tools menu bar we will use to read the external assemblies template. And last one the help menu bar you can use to read the about Adam's car and understand it more deeply. Next video is on suspension analysis in Adams for Baha and Formula student events. Subscribe to our channel to support our work.